$50,000 grant to more formally study uh, the dissolution of the town of Rye. Um, we were going to be asked to contribute $5,000 ourselves, and both the, the village of Portchester and the village of Rye Brook have agreed uh, to contribute $5,000 as well. So the idea is to look at the dissolution of the town of Rye, try and estimate the impact on our community, uh, and also uh, look at, you know, on a, on a, a higher level, you know, what shared services might come out of this as, as, as part of the study. Um, uh, Mayor Pillow, why don't I give you an opportunity to just to sort of uh, give the poor just a view on this as, as well. Thank you very much, Supervisor Harvey, and I appreciate the opportunity. And good evening, members of the council. You guys are a council, right? Uh, this is a unique opportunity, actually. New York State has a grant program, which tomorrow is the deadline, actually. And the local government efficiency uh, program has a number of different components. The one we're talking about here is called a high-priority uh, planning application. And it's just the study, and particularly in these difficult economic times, it's really our fiduciary responsibility as stewards of our respective taxpayers' monies to study all the options. And um, the uh, high efficiency planning grant is money that's not competitive. It's given to municipalities or groups of municipalities that agree to partner to study to eliminate levels of government. And while Supervisor Carvin, Mayor Feinstein, myself, and then Mayor Sable, now Mayor Rosenblum for uh, the Village of Romana, have been talking over the past year, pretty much it's been, um, gaining consensus on the scope of a potential study um, is something that is, is, has been somewhat difficult to achieve. If you read the local paper recently, for instance, Mayor Rosenblum being new, wasn't informed, aware, and initially wasn't too eager to embrace something so hastily. The study in and of itself, though, I would suggest, is harmless. Uh, in that there's no forced vote or, um, uh, or mandatory outcome that's uh, pre pre a prerequisite of doing anything like this. The other thing in considering the scope of any type of a study is the total cost of the grant. And when we looked at the scope of uh, the alternatives analysis, in the case of dissolving the town of Rye, in, in, in the case of more broadly, let me say, um, eliminating, creating government efficiencies. There's really two ways you can go about doing it in New York State. One is to, excuse me, dissolve the villages, and one might be to consider to, to dissolve the town. And um, aside from the lack of support from all of the parties in considering to dissolve the town, there's a degree of complexity, if you will, associated with that, that adds to the total cost of the project, I would suggest. Because it's the villages, after all, that came into existence well after the establishment of the town in 1660 to provide services. So here we are today, and the town of Rye really unique services are tax assessment, tax collection. While at the village levels, we have, as Goldie Solomon said, that was it, health, safety, and welfare, right? We have fire, police, and us, all the vital services, lending, <laughs> regulations, policies, et cetera. So it's a much broader study that would need to be considered. And I would suggest that the $50,000 grant maximum wouldn't cut it to look across all the three communities in that level of depth, even if you had the support of all of the players, which frankly, at, at, at the time, they didn't. Um, speaking personally, I'm an incrementalist, and I think this is a great way to begin. You know, in looking at the, at the uh, actions and the opportunities, really, the, the fiscal cost-benefit analysis of, of uh, considering to dissolve the town, that speaks to about $2.5 million of non-property tax revenue that the town of Rye gets every year um, that, of course, is used against your costs for the different departments that you have. But the, uh, the, the task at hand, the opportunity on the table is to study uh, what it would mean to uh, dissolve the town and instead redistribute that non-property tax revenue, specifically the New York State AIM, aid incentive to municipalities, state aid, and the mortgage uh, reporting tax to the successor town villages that do provide the, the, the um, essential services. In the case of the village of Porchester, if we were to look at that two and a half million dollars, and let's say it's two million, that right, just rounded to pick numbers, that would be about a three percent impact on the tax rate if that were to be uh, redistributed. So while it's intuitive to think, well, the villages you know, should uh, be dissolved and combined into the town, um, that may not necessarily be the case because the villages, I would suggest, are lean and mean. 
Um, and a lot of the, what would remain with the villages, um, zoning and planning and things like that are done really by volunteer committees. Um, and if you look at Rybrook and Porchester, we achieve uh, a great uh, degree of economies of scale by sharing services which don't require government consolidation anyway. We share the fire department, we share a library, we share EMS, and we actually share a public school district. So um, we spoke to New York State Department of Local Government Efficiency. They, um, consideration for dissolving the town, particularly in this case, um, met the criteria it's eliminating local government. The scope of the grant, $50,000, with the proposed $5,000 match from the town of Rye, the village of Portrush, and the village of Rybrook, brings our total up to $65,000. What we're asking here tonight is for this council to support the resolution so we can ferry it up to uh, Albany in time for the deadline 4 o'clock tomorrow um, so that we can become eligible for this study. Once this study is made, you can take those results about, uh, it, 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 the study will include identifying shared service opportunities between Porchester and between Lyle Brook. So I mentioned the four, the four functions that we now share we could look at additional functions. The, the, uh, necessarily the disposition of the unique functions and these reg the unique regulations that the town has over the villages is something that we need to be part of the study. And also, how we handle the, those treasured assets, Crawford Park and Wright Town Park. And it was the consent of all of the bodies that we've been having discussions with that Crawford Park and Wright Town Park should be looked at as continued shared community assets. And part of the scope of this would be to figure a way that we could continue to enjoy the Marinette, Rybrook, Porchester, Crawford Park, and Rye Town Park in the shared way that we do now. So it's not like we're going to divide the spoils and that, that's the end of it. You know, maybe with uh, your trucks or town hall or something like that. Should, should there be an economic benefit and everybody would agree to go forward, right? We should get ahead of ourselves. Um, that may be the case of that, but certainly not with the, uh, the, the parks that we're looking at now. That's a study that's kind of harmless in and of itself. There's no forced action at the end of it. Really, the only thing that is forced is public discussion. And that'll be interesting because the public can weigh in on whether it's a good direction, bad direction, enough, not enough. So I, I would encourage the support. Thank you, Mayor Philip. Maybe just stay there for a second. Sure. Uh, before I open up to questions and comments from the board, uh, I also wanted to point out that um, in, in talking through this issue with uh, the Mayor Bell and Mayor Feinstein and Mayor Rosenblum, I've made it clear to them that the town itself is going to look at a broader restructuring from an economic standpoint. So our 2012 committee, which both these gentlemen are, are members of, we're going to look at uh, you know what the economic impact would be of the dissolution of the village of Porchester, the dissolution uh, of the village of Rye, brought, maybe merging a newly enlarged town of Rye with the city of Rye. And so, what again, this is a study that focuses on the dissolution of the town of Rye. It's unusual to get you know, municipal officials from four different local entities to agree, so we really have a wonderful opportunity to secure these grant monies. And that will be the focus of this study, but I did want to make clear to the public at home, and, and most importantly, my board members, that that doesn't preclude, and we've made it clear, I've made it clear from day one, that we'll continue to study a more broad-based restructure as well, so that we can really engender the kind of public discussion that we're envisioning. And I think this grant study really will get the, movie, the, 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 the conversation going, because it will be before the And Supervisor Carpenter, if I may interject, to, to that effect, it really would give you a running start, because if you look at the scope, and the approach is to identify and do a high-level feasibility of the other functions that Rybrook and Porchester, for instance, could exactly. share. Yeah. Yeah. So you'll have the uh, the economics for those combinations, those shared service combinations. Then you just have to look at what's not in the scope of the study. And this will be a professional study, as, as, as my fellow 2012 committee members know. We're, we're working hard late into the night trying to pull numbers together, but uh, this will be a professional study that really will trigger the conversation. But let me turn it over to the board or in the town clerk, town attorney for comments, questions, if anybody has on this. Uh, two, uh, well, one quick question, uh, Mr. Supervisor, Mr. Mayor. Uh, at the end of this study, uh, <coughs> where does the uh, uh, implementation and action of the items come into play? Uh, far too often there are studies that are 